Hello. Beep, 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 beep. Welcome to the court VDI Jester. How are we good people? Well, what we got here? Well, some news which on first appearance appears to be good. But before I give you that, become a warrior teacher. September. We're starting this month. Come on. I need you. We need you. The world needs you. Free speech, the enlightenment, all the usual stuff. Otherwise, you can help buy me coffee, PayPal me, the usual. All right. OK, so I hope you're all OK. It's good to be talking to you. Uh, <clears throat> so news.stv.tv, which is up in the Bonnie Scotland. We, Bonnie Scotland, we're back up north again. Hello all to my Scottish followers and all the Scottish wonderful GC people. Scottish Government accepts all findings of CAS gender identity report, right? I think this is going to need some careful watching uh, because I've seen a bit, a few rumblings online that this is not what it first appears to be, that actually they're accepting them, but it doesn't mean they're going to change what they're doing. So we're going to need to keep a very close eye on what they're doing, which I'm sure... For women, Scotland, you know, all the other folk involved up there north of the border, Malcolm and everybody will be keeping a f an eye on what these people are doing. And I'm sure you will, too. So that's the most important thing. What it says here is a multidisciplinary team, a clinical team, considered the cash reports recommendations in the context of Scottish services. Why it would be any different, I don't know. You think you just go, yeah, we'll do what the Brits are doing on this one. We'll do what the Brits are doing on this one, shall we? Because there's something terribly wrong here. Right, so we'll do what the Brits are doing on this one. You think that's what they'd have said, but they didn't. You'd think they would. So that's a strange noise. Hang on, there's a strange noise. I'll be back. <laughs> it was a strange noise coming from the washing doofer. God knows, but it's going to break down. I hate when that happens. Right. Never mind, I'm back now anyway, so we can get on with it, right? So, um, the Scottish Muslim government says it's accepted the, the Hillary Cass report published by Dr. Hillary Cass. The CAS review made a series of recommendations about what would change in the provision of transgender health care for under 18s. Well, it did, didn't it? You remember, of course, that CAS did that, but it did more than that. It actually pointed the finger at the adult services and said, you need to sort this out too, which is why there was a follow-up letter um, subsequently from the CAS report by James Palmer, who works at the top, top end of the NHS, saying that they need to review the adult service. You're all aware of what my feelings are on this. The whole thing ends. I think it, it is societally iatrogenic I, it is harmful for society it's that simple as an idea particularly children and women and gay people scottish government officials have met dr cass several times over the course of a review to share information about improving care in scotland following the publication of the cash review commissioned by nhs england the scotland chief medical officer established a multiple multidisciplinary clinical team to consider the report's recommendation in the context of scottish services is it me or is that strange wording? What do you make of that wording? In the in the context of Scottish services, why would the context of Scottish services on the NHS be any different in this respect from the context of British services? Or Welsh? Or for that matter, anywhere else? I don't understand. What are they saying? Are they saying that things are different in Scotland? Because if they're saying that things are different in Scotland... That's ideological, isn't it? That's not clinical. If it was clinical, there'd be no differences. Very, very peculiar wording. On Tuesday, Public Health Minister Jenny Minto confirmed that the Scottish Government had accepted all the findings of the Cast Review, the Implications for Scotland report, published in July, and that the work is underway to implement its recommendations. Gender identity healthcare, this is what they're saying they're going to do. Gender identity healthcare services for children and young people being provided in paediatric clinic settings, moving it from the Sandyford Clinic in Glasgow. Sandyford, for those of you that don't know, is the Scottish Stonewall. We know what they've been up to. The provision of these services via a distributed network or regional model, model rather than on one side. I don't know what that means, but it's very peculiar. An end to self-referral, with young people being referred to specialist services by a clinician in common with other specialities. This is very non-specific, a lot of this. I think it will need watching. Last month, NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde announced that as of Tuesday, referrals to, to its gender services will only be accepted from a clinician. Which clinicians? And what will be the requirement for that clinician to make that referral? 
The NHS board said the move brings gender services in, the, in line with other clinical specialities which already require referral by a clinician. There are currently four NHS gender identity clinics at Glasgow, Sandiford, Edinburgh, Chalmers and Aberdeen, Cornhill and Inverness Regmore. Uh, Reg, I hope I've said that right, Scottish people. It comes after prescription of puberty blockers was paused for new patients in Scotland following a major review into gender care in April this year. The review found the medicine was built on shaky foundations and children have been let down by a toxic public discourse. This doesn't sound right to me. Sorry, folks. I mean, I may be being old and cynical because I'm a bit, you know, I've got flipping battle scars and, you know, thick skin. But does that sound right to you? Please let me know in the comments. The review found, they did a review. This is weird. And found that it, medicine was built on shaky foundations and children have been let down by a toxic public discourse. This doesn't sound right. To, I mean, it could be just the writing by this particular web page, but it doesn't sound right to me. There's something wrong. In a statement, Minto outlined work which is underway to implement the report's recommendations, including the publication of a new national standard for gender identity health care. National standards for gender identity health care. We're getting to the point where we realise gender identity doesn't exist. What are they doing? Adults, young people uh, will be the gender identity health care service, the new, new standards it will be for adults and young people. And it's being done by Health Improvement Scotland. Minto also highlighted the publication of a progress report on work to improve these services. The new standards are part of a suite of documents published today that also includes NH NHS Education for Scotland's Transgender Care Knowledge and Skills Framework and an updated Gender Identity Healthcare product Protocol for Adult Services. There's something not right here. There's something not right. If we're eradicating the ability to get this in children, which we are effectively, right, saying no, no, we should be doing the same for adults. There's something. You read it. You let me know. But I'm thinking I smell a rat. I don't know why. Right. I don't know why. I just do. Minto said the chief medical officer's report underlines the need for development of these services with children, young people and their families. I am determined the young people using these services and their families are our priority and will be at the heart of all our discussions about how, how the care is provided. No, 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 no. Do they see? Is it me? Have I got this wrong? Please do tell me, because I'm, you know, always happy to prove wrong. Let me know in the comments whether you think this... I smell a rat. Link to it's in the dubris, right? There is now a breadth of work, Minto said, underway to take forward the recommendation of the CMO's report which illustrates our commitment to deliver gen improved gender identity health care for young people. So we started off with we're going to implement CAS and we've ended with our report says we're going to give improved identity health care, gender identity health care for young people. In addition, the suite of documents relating to gender identity health care provision published today, which were developed following extensive public consultation and targeted consultation with people with lived experience, will support clinicians in a wide range of professional bodies and help drive improvements in service. There's something wrong. Listen, you have a look. I do that. Warrior teachers and I do this kind of analysis all the time. But please do come back to me and let me know what you think, because I think I smell a rat. Goodbye, folks. Have a good day.